I'm beginning to think that the creative act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin, is the coffee table book of the century. It's a gloomy Sunday afternoon and I'm drinking water out of a jug. The reason I consider the creative act a good coffee table book is because it's, if you buy it, something that you want to have sitting around with you. I bet if you're watching this video that you saw the big press run that Rick Rubin was going on. He was appearing on all kinds of different podcasts. He's been putting out content that is in this book for a really long time on his Instagram as well. If you're unfamiliar with Rick Rubin, he's a legendary music producer. He clearly knows something about the creative process that most people don't. That's what's contained within this book, is all of the some things that he knows or that he's found to be true. The reason I consider this book to be such a great coffee table book is because you're not going to want to sit down and read it through cover to cover. Most of what's contained within this book should be thought about for a little while. It's not one that you're going to get a ton out of by plowing through the material straight through. Instead, the approach that I've found that is best for reading this book is to leave it somewhere where it's readily available to you. So a coffee table, maybe on your desk or with your writing materials or in your studio, wherever. So that either when you're feeling a little down, a little uninspired, or when you are feeling like you're on a great run and you just want to keep it going, you can pick this book up and read a few of the pages. Before you buy the book, I would suggest that you consume a little bit of Rick Rubin's content, hear him talk about the creative process. He's been, as I mentioned, on so many podcasts. And then also potentially follow him. Just see the sorts of things that he's including in his Instagram posts. It's not pictures of him, it's all quotes, it's all wisdom. And if some of it starts to speak to you, well then you should buy the book because I've gotten a lot of value out of it. It's broken out into 78 areas of thought. I'll read you a passage from the very beginning of the book because I think it really does a good job of articulating how you might approach this thing. Nothing in this book is known to be true. It's a reflection on what I've noticed, not facts so much as thoughts. Some ideas may resonate, others may not. A few may awaken an inner knowing you forgot you had. Use what's helpful, let go of the rest. Each of these moments is an invitation to further inquiry, looking deeper, zooming out or in, opening possibilities for a new way of being. This book is for a lot more than just artists. If you're expected to make things or create stuff of value in your job, or if you're an entrepreneur, you're very business-minded, this still will be a great read for you. This book has been a long time coming and I'm really glad that it's finally here. The main function that this book has for me is that it breaks me out of binary thinking or negative thinking. Often multiple ideas will be strung together in a way that might not have naturally occurred to me. And I'll give you a brief example of a quote from the book that works in that way. It's not unusual for science to catch up to art eventually nor is it unusual for art to catch up to the spiritual. Often I'll think about like AI and the purpose of art and writing and get a little bit caught up in, is what I'm doing worth it? Like is the art form that I've chosen to pursue writing novels relevant today? But the way that Rick Rubin will break a binary like that and bring in like the spiritual is a really good reminder that there's a much greater context to the work that all of us is doing. Many waves of technology have crested and fallen, and art is still just as relevant as it ever was. Think about classic paintings and sculptures. Things might, works of art might be a little bit less accessible to people and might not be as relevant to the current zeitgeist, but art endures. I hope you got something out of this video. If so, definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already. That's the best way to support this channel. And I hope you're in a good reading groove. If not, check out the creative act. Let me know what you think.